because many people complained about the length of the documentary named The Greatest Laser Experiments in History, I decided to make it shorter, so I put the 7 experiments in a 16 minutes video. I hope you will have 16 minutes to watch it now. The link of the full documentary is in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, don't forget to share the two videos with everyone you know. YouTube will not do this for us. It took a lot of work and effort to do these experiments and put them all in one video. I think it deserves to go viral. You decide. FE Core Laser Measurements at Lake Balaton 2018 January 2018 Pre-Test FE Core spent hours late into the night to discover how the test could be carried out. The pre-test was done under harsh weather conditions of sub-freezing temperatures. Nevertheless, it was a very exciting experience, as observers were able to see the laser at an astounding distance of 21 kilometers with the naked eye. The moment was captured by Sandor's camera. It was a clear indication of the missing convexity of the water surface. Measurement 1. On February 22nd, 2018, at 10.44 p.m., the blue laser pointer was 1.5 meters, or 4.92 feet, above the surface of the water. Karen's camera was 1.6 meters, or 5.25 feet, above the surface of the water at a distance of 12 kilometers, or 7.46 miles. The 12 kilometer distance calculation based upon the WGS-84 model results in a target hidden height of 4.56 meters or 14.96 feet. The lake temperature was 2 degrees Celsius and the air temperature above the lake was 3 degrees Celsius. The ambient conditions showed the refractive indexes were about the same at the two sides of the lake where the teams were positioned. The difference in temperature was marginal both vertically and between the two sides of the measurement. The difference in humidity and temperature between the height of the laser and the height of the camera was insignificant. FE Core concluded that the gradients above the lake did not cause any significant refraction of the laser beam. To reach the maximum precision, FE Core factored in all the possible corrections for the WGS-84 geoid and calculated the mean sea level ellipsoid, the geoid undulation, and the refraction corrections for each measurement. The height of the laser pointer was 1.5 meters and the observation position height was at 1.6 meters. The WGS-84 geoid map shows 0.129 meters geoid undulation at both sides of the measurement. That meant there is no significant difference in geoid undulation. The TLT measurement data shows that at least 2.96 meters of curvature was missing on the total distance of 12 kilometers on the surface of Lake Balaton. There is also a possibility of a local geopotential anomaly, but the WGS undulation map clearly shows that this was not the case. Measurement 2. On February 26, 2018, at 8 o'clock p.m., the blue laser was placed on the salad at 2.2 meters, or 7.2 feet, above the surface of the lake at Balaton Vilagos. The source of the beam was seen from Siofog, 12 kilometers or 7.46 miles away at 1.6 meters above the lake. Okay, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Here, it comes. here comes the blue. Oh! Oh! That's a freaking laser pointer, guys. Um, the reason why I'm on my phone is to show everyone this. That was uh, the 12 kilometers today. Uh, so, yeah, that was. This is worth everything to me. Yeah. So, um, to us. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, to us. <laughs> so uh, I just want to add that uh, I think it's been a brilliant work with these guys and it's been bloody cold, hard work and uh, like Karen said, a lot harder than I imagined. The two measurements performed at Lake Balaton showed that for the 12 kilometer distance, the lake surface did not conform to the WGS-84 geoid model. 
The Lake Isle, Netherlands Measurements After the two measurements at Lake Balaton, FE Corps performed five TLT measurement over Lake Isle. Measurement 3, Lake Isle Target 1. On April 8, 2018, at 1 o'clock a.m., the blue laser was on the salad at 2.85 meters, or 9.35 feet, above the lake surface. It was seen at the target one position, 21.26 kilometers, or 13.21 miles, at a height of 1.2 meters, or 3.94 feet, above the lake surface. It took less than 60 seconds for them to see the source of the laser at the target one location. Can you guys see it? There. Okay, yeah, we can see it really well there. Can you see the reflection yeah, on the water? Is. I'm gonna zoom out. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Look yep. at that. Wow. Oh man, that is irrefutable. <laughs> awesome. Oh, I can watch this all day, you know. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, this is really so, awesome. Yeah, look at that reflection. That reflection absolutely caps it. Yeah. yeah, that caps it. That uh, that annihilates any possibility of it being refracted, and that also annihilates any possibility of any convexity. Yeah, I mean you cannot track it with, with being curved. The 21.26 kilometer calculations based upon the WGS84 geoid model resulted in a target hidden height for measurement three Isle Lake, target one location of 18.18 meters or 59.6 feet. The camera height was 1.2 meters. The WGS84 geoid model differed by 16.98 meters in this measurement, which meant 93% of the target hidden height was visible. The lake temperature was 7.6 degrees Celsius or 45.7 degrees Fahrenheit, and the air temperature was 10.8 degrees Celsius or 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit above the lake. The ambient conditions showed the refractive indexes were about the same on both sides of the lake. TLT calculations factor in any variations in recorded data and geoid datum parameters of the WGS84 mathematical construct. Both target and laser positions are at zero meters mean sea level. The WGS84 geoid undulation map shows a marginal 23 centimeters or 9 inches height difference at the two positions. Measurement 4 On April 8, 2018 at 3 o'clock a.m., the blue laser on the salad was 2.85 meters or 9.35 feet above the lake surface. It was seen at the target 2 position 28.68 kilometers or 17.82 miles away at a height of 0.85 meters or 2.79 feet above the lake surface. Okay, check this out brothers and sisters. 28 kilometers in your face. Wow. Wow. That is awesome. Uh, my camera is uh, 85 centimeters uh, above uh, sea level. Look at that. That's amazing. You can see it reflecting off the lake water. Yeah. That's astounding. That's the nail in the coffin. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, this is so great, boss. It's really awesome. The 28.68 kilometer calculations based upon the WGS84 geoid model resulted in a target hidden height for measurement for Isle Lake, target two location of 40.21 meters or 131.9 feet. The WGS84 mathematical construct differed by 39.36 meters in this measurement, which meant 98% of the target hidden height was visible. The 40 kilometer measurements were scheduled for April 20th through April 22nd. FE Corps members from the Netherlands, United States, Hungary, and Spain on April 20th in Enkhuizen, Netherlands for the longest distance laser observation over water in history. The team set up the salad with the blue laser. The reference location was set 18.73 kilometers from the salad at target 3. However, the weather was not in the team's favor. During the first night, the humidity was so high that haze reduced the visibility and dimmed the laser, making any measurement impossible. The second night, April 21st, 
The humidity was low enough that the team located the laser at the Target 3 initial reference location. We just parked here, and it looks like we're gonna spend the night here. So we're gonna spend the entire night looking for the laser. They calibrated the GPS TLT system and performed measurement 5 at 12 o'clock a.m. on April 22nd. Measurement 5, Lake Isle, Target 3. On April 22nd, 2018, at 12 o'clock a.m., the blue laser was on the salad at 2.92 meters, or 9.58 feet, above the lake surface. It was seen at the Target 3 position 18.73 kilometers, or 11.64 miles, away at a height of 1.6 meters, or 5.25 feet, above the lake surface. The 18.73 kilometer calculation based upon the WGS-84 geoid model results in a target hidden height for measurement 5 ISO Lake Target 3 location of 12.504 meters or 41.024 feet. For measurement 5, the WGS-84 mathematical construct differed by 10.904 meters which meant 85% of the target hidden height was visible. FE Core examined the effects of refraction through the gradients in the air by adjusting the beam vertically. It was concluded that with the present ambient conditions at measurement 5, the beam was refracted downward by a maximum of one hundredth of a millimeter. Measurement 6, Lake Isle, Target 4. On April 22, 2018, at 2.19 a.m., the blue laser was on the salad at a height of 2.92 meters, or 9.58 feet, above the lake surface. It was seen from the Target 4 position 40.14 kilometers, or 24.94 miles away, at a height of 1.5 meters, or 4.92 feet, above the lake surface. The 40.14 kilometer calculations based upon the WGS-84 geoid model resulted in a target hidden height of 90.81 meters or 297.33 feet for measurement 6 Lake Isle Target 4 location. The WGS-84 mathematical construct differed by 89.31 meters in this measurement, which meant 98% of the target hidden height was visible. Yesterday uh, we had a little bit of bad luck in because the, the beam of the light was not so good visible with the camera. We could definitely see it with the naked eye, but to catch it on camera it was really difficult. So we have adjusted some things for today and we, we are truly expecting better results. Yeah, but the intensity is, is going down. Yeah, yeah, that's the way down. Okay, just uh, put it one, uh, one step up there. One more, one, one more, more, one more, one more. You got it? I could tell I was looking right at it. FE Core examined the effects of refraction through the gradients in the air by adjusting the beam vertically. It was concluded that with the present ambient conditions at measurement 6, the beam was refracted downward by a maximum of 0.064 millimeters. Measurement 7, Lake Isle, Target 4. On April 22, 2018, at 11.20 p.m., the blue laser was on the salad at 2.92 meters, or 9.58 feet, above the lake surface. It was seen at the Target 4 position 40.14 kilometers, or 24.94 miles, away at a height of 1.5 meters or 4.92 feet 
above the lake surface. The parameters and outcome of measurement 7 was the same as the one from the previous night. The only difference was the maximum refraction of 0.133 millimeters caused by the slightly different ambient conditions. The observers should not have seen the laser at any height below 89.3 meters or 293 feet, but the beam was recorded from a height of 1.5 meters or 4.92 feet. Conclusions. The results of the seven TLT measurements indicate that these two lakes do not conform with the WGS 84 mathematical construct and that they lack the predicted convexity. The testing results agree with the analysis of error sources. In summary, the testing results of the lake surfaces were plus or minus 0.2 meters and the relative accuracy was within 1%. In conclusion, the TLT measurements met the accuracy of the experiment design requirements and provided a definite deliverable output. Hello everyone, Strawman Dan here. And before I start, I just want to tell you all about what is by far my favorite app of all time. Yes, you guessed it, it's the Flat Earth, Sun, Moon and Zodiac Clock app. I know, I know, for years I have been anti-Flat Earth with my highly edited weekly anti-Flat Earth scripted rants but after downloading this app, wow, I'm blown away. Earth is a horizontal level plane and I'm a complete douchebag. I'm sorry.